Hello you. Welcome back to Ace Academy. And we're just about to go into our little private room with Yuna. So uh, I'm not going to linger here talking to you. Let's let's just get cracking, shall we? <coughs> I type out the last couple of words on our report. Then I lean back in my chair and grin at Yuna. <sighs> was it as good for you as it was for me? And we're done. She breathes a sigh of relief. I'm glad we were able to get that finished. Now we don't have to worry about it for the rest of the week. What else are we going to do, hey? Hey? Yeah. We'd been working for hours and it was getting pretty late. Yuna is already packing up her laptop, so I pack mine up too. She then lays the remaining reference books in her arms. Ah, oh, the adorable hugging books to chest in nice jumper look. Um, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. I'll go ahead and return these. I'll, c I'll come with you. Do you need help with that? No, thanks. I'll just be a minute. <coughs> she smiles reassuringly before she leaves. I tidy up the room while she takes care of the books and meet out her outside the building. Well, I better head to the bus stop. I I'll come with you. No, no. I'll give you a ride home on my motorcycle. That's what it's going to be. I'll go, I'll go with you. No, motorcycle, motorcycle, come oh, on. Oh, you don't have to. I drove here, so I don't mind. Besides, it's getting kind of late, and who knows how long the bus will be. She nods and smiles in appreciation. Mm. Wally, you are one appreciative man. I don't know what I'm saying. The bus shelter is empty when we arrive, and as expected, the bus is nowhere to be found. I'll I'll drive you. Motor, take her on your motorcycle, and it'll be great. She, yeah. We got a lot done today. You're very easy to work with. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for a moment. I thought you were ready to bail on me. She glances curiously at me. Why would I bail on you? It's when so... was that? When we found the case study. Oh. <laughs> She shifts slightly. I thought about it. I've never done anything <laughs> like that before. <laughs> You're living a sheltered life there, Yuna, hey? Hey? A bus sheltered life! Oh! <laughs> now it's my turn to look confused. You've never borrowed a book? I mean, come on. Oh, that's pretty stupid. No, I've never borrowed a book without permission. That's stealing. It wasn't really without permission. We totally broke the oh rules. Oh my god. Nah, mate. You need to stick with me and become more relaxed. I'll take you on an adventure in a whole new world. I don't know if I'd go that far. We did. You're not supposed to use a book that's on the return cart. It's not done being processed. Oh my god. But we need to get our work done, woman. Yeah, but that's just a minor thing. It's like when you forget to clean up your tray in the cafeteria. <gasps> she stares blankly at me. I think not cleaning up your tray, that is pretty bad, actually. Have you ever forgotten to clean up your tray? Of course not. You're supposed to clean up after I yourself. I agree with you here, Yuna. I mean, it's just rude. It's like people who don't push the bloody chairs in after they're done. It's so annoying. It's... ah. Oh. Okay, then it's like... Taking extra chopsticks and napkins. Taking a pen... The pen from the bank. Oh, oh, don't do that. Taking more than one after dinner mint from a restaurant. Taking extra freezer. Using multiple emails to vote for a contest entry when it's for vote by person. Um, what is this choice even like? I don't understand. Right, the one that I, the only one that I would do, are these two. When you're picking up food and you're taking an extra chopstick and napkins at the self-serve bar, you'd have frowned. I only need one pair of chopsticks to eat. <sighs> Left for later. Oh, actually, no, that's pretty. That's pretty bad. If everyone took things in excess, then that leaves nothing for others. Yuna, you're just perfect. Okay, how about? <laughs> oh, so I just need to keep going until I get it right. Okay, this one. When a restaurant has a bowl of mints for or candy for the customers to take after a meal, and you take more than one. She wrinkles her brow. I don't believe that's a custom in Japan. Well, it's like that then, definitely. Oh, it must be an American thing then. Okay, how about... Oh, my God. <laughs> Fine, this one. I bet she's all into that X Factor or whatever it is in Japan. 
When a contest says it's only one vote per person, so you use your other email accounts to vote for the entry that you, you like. But that would still be voting more than once per person, because those emails belong to me. <laughs> Technically, I suppose it's... That's an unfair advantage. It is. I agree there. This is this isn't even choices. She gives me a disapproving look. Do you do all of these things? No, no, I don't. No. Um, no. She stares at me with wide eyes. But that's breaking the rules. But rules, you know, some rules are pretty stupid. Gotta rebel. Have freedom. They're more like guidelines anyway. The pilot's code. They're more like guidelines. Uh, I've never broken the rules. Well then. We can change that, can't we? Not even once. It would lead to utter chaos if everyone ignored the rules and did what they wanted. Yes. Well, no. If you did what you wanted, as long as you don't, pit, like, stop other people from doing what they want, it balances itself out, man. It's not free. You're not free, Una. Kind of like the, this bus, right? Huh? Well, the schedule said it was supposed to be here about half an hour ago, but it's late. Oh. Aha! I've cracked it. She looks disappointed. I was hoping the bus issue would resolve itself before I had to go home. It doesn't seem like it's coming. Can anyone pick you up? No, don't ask that. She shakes her head. My family is out of town this weekend. It's fine. Yes! I take the bus all the time. Your family's out of town? We well, you know where this is going, don't we? Offer her... Of course offer her a ride. I can take you home. She smiles, but no! No, you know, you gotta do it. I don't want to cause any trouble for you. I don't mind waiting. You are... No. It's no trouble at all. We ride the same bus line, so you're on my route home. That's very kind of you, but you don't have to worry about me. I'm used to waiting for the bus. When someone offers you a kindness, you know, it's a bit rude to just completely stubbornly refuse it. Come on! I know, but it's getting late, and if I let you here alone, if I left you here alone, I'd be worried you'd never get home safely. Her cheeks tinge pink, and she looks away. A small smile playing into her lips. Oh, you're being really deliberate here. You know what you're doing, don't You'd you? You'd be Yuna? worried about me? Of course I would, jumper girl. Yeah. She looks back at me, a full smile on her face. Well, it will get dark soon, and I wouldn't want you to worry. No, you wouldn't, would you? Mm, I know what you're thinking right now. I grin at her. <laughs> Come on, let's go pick up my bike. She returns my smile with an even brighter smile. Okay, thanks. Yeah. And then there was a horrible bike crash, and we both died. Well, I didn't die, she died. Okay, whatever. When we reached my bike, she was eyes widen in appreciation. Oh, that's a good bike. You have a beautiful ride. I do. Ah, uh, you get it, uh, because you're my rider. Uh, it's funny, because sex. <laughs> I can't help myself from feeling a warmth of pride. Thanks. I brought her back from the States. She goes everywhere with me. Before you said the robots weren't. They were just things, but now the bike's a woman. Whoa, man. Come on. I hop on my bike and pat the seat behind me. She carefully climbs on. Are you ready? Um. Um, 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 um. No time for going and leaving now. What is it? What am I supposed to hold on to? <laughs> oh, well. You're kind of supposed to hold on to me. Have you ever seen this before? Oh my god. She's getting no shy off. You know you're into it. What's wrong? What's wrong? Um, this was a bad idea. I, I <laughs> should go wait for the bus. It's too late now. I feel her squirm behind me. Help her. Before she can hop off the bike. I reach back. I like the little countdown thing then. I nearly made a mistake. Before she can hop off the bike, I reach back, grab her hands, and wrap her arms around my waist. Yuna lets out a small gasp. <laughs> See, this isn't so bad, right? Um, r right. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Yeah. I can feel the warmth of Yuna against me, and she softens. Oh, oh! I could feel the warmth of Yuna against me and the softness of her chest pressing against my back. <sighs> oh yeah. I try not to think, you try not to think about it, but you just can't help yourself, can you? Her grip tightens around my waist as we continue down the freeway. Yuna diligently directs me towards her house. The scenery blends into a blur of colour as we drive by. 
After a few minutes, Yuna's direction sounds more confident, and there's a tinge of excitement in her voice. Her grip relaxes slightly, and I'm actually aware of every time she presses close to me to speak. Oh, a cute one. A cute one. I feel her hand slip away for a moment. I seem to push the hair out of her eyes, and her chest pushes up against me again as she sighs. Are you okay? Yes. Sorry. I just love sunsets, and the view right now is breathtaking. It's because I'm the view, isn't it? Mm hmm Oh, no, I need to agree with her. Like, yes, the view is great, isn't it? Oh, what? I missed a trick there. It's me! Look at me! Oh, my God! His face doesn't seem right. And she's so adorable! Oh, my God. Right. This is too good. This, this, this picture, man, is my dream. I quickly glance towards the sun as it hovers over the horizon. Reflecting the trail of golden fire on the glittering waves of the ocean. <clears throat> you definitely don't see sunsets like these in New York. I could get used to this. Are you liking it in Isokaze so far? Yeah. But I haven't seen much outside of Ace. You should go to the park. It's so beautiful. There's especially in spring when the cherry me. blossoms bloom. I used to go there all the time and play on the statues. Well, we could play on the statues right now, if you know what I mean, eh? You'll learn a lot about the town's culture and history there, too. Although I haven't been there since... Aww. ...a while, so I'm not sure if it's changed at all. What does that mean? Invite it, Wally. Invite her to the park. Yeah! Maybe you could come with me and show me. She pauses. <gasps> sure. After all, Isokaze is a pretty special place. Yeah. Also, why the fuck are you two not wearing helmets? What if you fall off? You will die. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm beginning to see that. I mean, at least they should have had my guy have a helmet, because then we'd have never seen his face, and that would be more interesting. I mean, you can't hide that, can you? Look at it. She leans closer into me, but doesn't say anything more. Right up. Before long, we arrive at her house. Right, coming from that picture to this picture seems a bit like... What, do they run out of budget for this picture? Did they get a five-year-old to draw it compared to the other one? She slips off the bike and waits for me to do the same. Ooh, ooh. As I walk her to the, her front door, she turns to me. Kiss, kiss, kiss. I don't anticipate her stopping and almost trip into her, but catch myself just in time. Still, I hear a slight gasp when she notices how close we are to each other. She suddenly becomes shy and takes a small step back. Now I take a small step forward and lean in. Thanks for taking me home. I had a nice time today. Me too. Maybe we can hang out again. You gotta... No, you gotta... Sure. Don't, don't, don't. You gotta... I do something besides study. She's not gonna invite me in for coffee. Looks like it. I'd like that. <laughs> Have a good night. Oh, Get home yeah. safely, okay? Give, give, give me a cheeky kiss. Just on a cheek, you know. Oh well, talk to you later. She turns towards her door while I go back to my bike. As I switch on the engine, I see her turn around. She gives me a brief wave before heading out inside. And I wave back before heading home. Now, Kaito and Nikki are just going to give me all of the bants. They're going to be teasing me. Oh. As I walk into the room, I'm assaulted by the sound of laughter. Ah! Seated in the living room, Nikki and <gasps> seated in the living room is Nikki and two other girls. Freeway. They glance up at me as I enter. Come on, just you. Nikki greets me with a wide grin and waves me over while the two girls begin whispering to each other. Oh my god, they're totally banging each other. Oh my god, incest. Hey, you're back. Where did you go? I met up with Yuna to work on our project. Uh, seriously, you did homework. On a Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm sure it had nothing to do with seeing a cute girl. Of course nothing. Why is her voice going all weird? Nikki's friends suddenly seem to be on alert. <gasps> oh, they, they'd be crushing. They'd be crushing. They we wanted to have a whack at Wally, I'll tell you that. 
We really did do homework. In fact, we finished the project. You're telling me that you were alone with a cute girl for hours and all you did was homework? I know, right? I, I... <sighs> um, yeah. She sighs. See, Nikki knows where it's <sighs> at. You're hopeless. I really am. I really am. Nikki's friends glance at each other and giggle. What are you guys doing? Playing draw it. Draw it. Hada! What's that? The first girl speaks before Nikki can. It's a fun game. <gasps> you pick a word from the pile and draw it and people guess what it is. Why can't I do the voice acting? <laughs> Sounds easy enough. Join us. Then we can play in teams of two. <gasps> Who's it going to be? Yeah, join us. Uh, I glance at Nikki, who shrugs. Sure, why not? Uh, okay, okay, sure. The two girls jump up excitedly. The first one gets up from the couch and grabs my arm, then drags me back to sit with her. Ah, they they be crushing. Yay, they want the D. you can be on my team. And then the other one's going to be like, no, he's on my team. And they're going to have a wrestle and it's going to be great. No, ah, he should be on my team. <laughs> The other girl grabs me by the other arm. Ugh, ugh. Um, um. Why? You and Nikki are like best friends. You two should be on a team. No, you should be on a team, guys. She took touch on my arm. But he's a pilot at Ace, which means he's smarter and Is should be it? on my team. That's not the reason you want me on your team. I feel like I'm going to be ripped in half. Ah! Ah! I'm spaced up! Oh my god! Ah! Ouch! I thought you guys were my friends, not his. <laughs> Shots fired. We are! We are. But how mm. come you guys don't want to be on my team? They glance at each other, but no, the girl lets go of me. Nikki crosses up. Hmm. It's because you don't have a penis. Fine. Well, he's my brother, so uh, he's going to be on uh, my uh, team. Both girls pant in disappointment and I let go. You're no fun, Nikki. <laughs> Whatever. You guys can go first. Fine. Do I have to draw something? Is there going to be more gameplay? Nikki's friends. Nikki's friend picks up a card and smiles when she sees the word <laughs> penis. She glances at me quickly and then starts drawing. It's a guy with blonde hair wearing something eerily familiar. The second girl answers immediately. Hot. The word is hot. Ah! Oh, thanks, guys. Oh. Yes! <laughs> they both burst into a fit of giggles. Nikki grabs her paper and looks at it. What? How did you guess hot from that <laughs> she shoves the drawing in my face can i say it would you have known this was hot nah but it's probably a girl thing how else would you describe me it's pretty obvious to me <laughs> i good at the girls who both blush armor what? charmer shut up you're no help you know you want this why wouldn't you draw fire or like a cup of coffee or something who is this even supposed to be <laughs> Both girls look at me and giggle. Ah, yeah, come on, girls, let's go upstairs and leave Nikki here on her own. Nikki glances between the three of us, then frowns. Guys, my brother. <laughs> so, he's cute. This, they're very upfront about this. Um, wow. Um, they're not even shy at all. But he's my brother. Whoa, you're getting jelly, are you? The girls exchange a glance and gasp. <gasps> oh. We have ah! no idea. <laughs> yeah, we're sorry, but you should have said something. <laughs> Think he breaks in confusion. Huh? Uh, said what? That you and him, you know. Even the game knows. Even the game knows. She nudges her head towards me. The relationship you have with him. Uh... Uh, Nikki continues to look blank for a few seconds. <laughs> Their expressions changes to horror! God, oh my god, no! I think one thinks thou protest too much. It makes sense as to why you got so protective over him. Mm -hmm. And why you wanted him on your team. Well, you. Uh, that's not. Nikki, you don't have to be embarrassed, it's okay! Yeah, Japan's cool with this kind of thing, for because reasons. Gross, gross, gross! How come they speak English? Things just got really weird. I'm going to head upstairs. Oh no! Stay and play with us! Play with us, Wally? Yeah, stay! 
Nikki stands and pushes me towards the stairs. Don't listen to them. Just go. I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I rushed to the stairs, but could still hear them arguing below. Why did you send him away, Nikki? We were having a good time. <laughs> yeah, plus he's hot. Wow, this is very clear if I'm on the stairs. I've got good hearing. Ew, you guys, stop it. It's, pretty it's not a crime to look. Well, it should be. Ugh. Excuse me, I'm just going to go throw up. I don't blame you, Nikki. I don't blame you. Their voices drift away as I enter my room and flop onto my bed. I will never understand girls, but it is kind of funny that they thought I was hot. Actually, they weren't so bad to look at either. I grin as I remember them clutching my arms close to their chest. With assets like that, you kind of forget things. Like that they're only in high school. Ah, oh, Wally! Ah, oh, no! Ah, 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 ah! Bruh. The smile drops off my face. Maybe it's a good thing Nikki doesn't bring her friends home very often. Just then, my phone dings, announcing an email, breathing in relief. I eagerly reach over and open the email. Ooh. Find out next time, guys, who the email's from. And uh, congratulations to you if you found all of the really quick, stupid, ridiculous, why are you even doing this, Wally, caption Easter eggs. And I'll see you next time. Ta-da. <laughs>